In Muskegon, Michigan, there's plenty to see aside from the beaches. When you're not crawling around in the Pier Marquette sand, take a look right down the road and you might find something that piques your interest. Military grade weapons in the same place you give your children at play? That and this giant propeller can only mean one thing, and that's that you're at the USS Silverside Submarine Museum. Abundant in World War II relics, old military propaganda, and housing a tremendous timeline, the interior of the museum is truly a maze of history. The museum is fairly new. It's approximately three years old. We used to have a little trailer with just a little tiny gift shop and a little small museum. This building put in, and we're making change in this, changes regularly in the museum. I don't know if you walked around, you notice there's things that keep changing which is what museums do. And each change is clearly meant to provide guests with an excellent experience. This museum houses the actual control system from the original nuclear submarine, the USS Silversides. The USS Silverside submarine is the vessel that the museum is centered around. It's a World War II submarine called the SS-236, and it was the third most successful submarine during the war. It sank 30 vessels to earn that recognition, 23 of which were significant, meaning they weighed over 500 tons. While a multitude of World War II facts can be found inside the museum, along with an impressive interactive periscope through the roof, the best stuff can be found in the Lake Michigan Muskegon Lake Channel. Here at the museum, we have the Silver Sides, we have the Coast Guard Cutter McLean, which is a World War II era Coast Guard Cutter made in 1927. Because the submarine is still intact, the title is actually the world's most successful World War II submarine still around. Well, we're here now on the deck of the actual submarine, the main event of the museum, and believe it or not, you can actually sleep below the deck if you set up an appointment. We can sleep 72 on the submarine, and we usually sleep up to 36 on the Coast Guard cutter. Boy Scout troops, Cub Scout groups, uh, Girl Scout troops, YMCAs, 4-Hs, all kinds of groups come and sleep on the submarine. And you don't need an organization to spend a night on a World War II relic. Reynolds says families come all the time to see what it was like for our troops to live in a submarine back then. So if you think you've seen it all, come out to the Silversides Museum and take a robotics class. They offer full days of robotics engineering, a Navy knot tying class, an oil rig robotics simulation class, a peace sub convention in August where there will be even more submarines on the channel, a lost boat ceremony, and an annual Black History Month veterans event. Go up, Dad. Go up. Go up. Meet up. And if you've been paying attention, you'll remember that this museum is constantly changing, which means that you should keep checking back for new classes, new events, and awesome stuff. Come and see us. We have a lot of people who live in Muskegon who don't even know we're here. You can find the museum, the submarine, the Coast Guard cutter, and much more all right on the channel between Lake Michigan and Muskegon Lake. This has been Zachary Pena, and I hope to see you on the USS Silverside submarine.